Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy, Green Pastures Farm. We are one day closer on our new farm, getting all the fence up. And uh, I know the wind just started blowing. It wasn't blowing a minute ago, and I don't have a sock or a nylon, so sorry about the wind noise. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you all something, though. Getting a lot of questions of why we used um, the uh, treated posts. And, uh, you know, we use what we got. Um, we, uh, we use what looks nice aesthetically and what matches the farm. So this is what was here. Uh, this is a side that we still got to put up. We had to, actually it's not on the fence line, um, but we're not going to mess with it right now. Our property line is actually in the middle of this old road, as you can see. There's the surveyor marker. You can see the, I'll show you what the pin looks like. There it is, right there. So this old road is actually the center of our property, all the way through there. Well, we don't have time to clear that right now. We're going to, it's definitely uh, on our radar. But it, it's more than a day job, okay? <laughs> and uh, we're running short on, we're running short on time now. We moved all the steers over where the bulls are. So we got uh, 80, let's see, 84 head in there now. On that far hillside, you can kind of see them. Anyway, part of this farm is ready to go. I would say within, you know four or five days i mean we've got i measured the grass a minute ago we've got some grass out there six to seven inches tall and uh you know in an ideal world maybe eight is when we start grazing we've got such a big area here there's 141 acres and uh the boys i put i put us all on 10 hours a day and i've never done that before but I told them, I said, you know, we got to get this done. And we got a lot of things coming at us. We got cabin season, vacations, you know, uh, company coming in, uh, consulting. It, it all just takes time, you know, to, and there's only so many hours in a day. So I calculated up for us to get done. We had to do the 10 hours a day. You know, the boys stepped right up and uh, we've been doing that. So. Yeah, this is uh, the neighbor. He actually got his fence done 10 acres. We did all that. Um, these are the corners. These are the brackets that hold the corners on there. It made a, a really attractive fence and it's very, um, it's a very stout fence. Uh, we had, uh, we used all timeless posts until we ran out. And that was all cost the road frontage and those were five and a half footers and they were one and three quarter diameter and then from there um i had these and these are all six footers fiberglass one inch and so we drilled them well first of all we sanded them acetoned them and painted them and uh, we had about i don't know almost 200 of these and we got them all ready so they're we're, we're rocking and rolling, ready to go. We're waiting on the utility. They want to trench a line into this neighbor here for his electricity. And if we put the fence up on this far side, well, it's right in the way. <laughs> so we're doing everything and leaving that to the very last. And hopefully they'll get in here in the next couple of days. It won't take them over probably two hours. They don't have to go very far to trench through where our water, where our fence line is. But you can see we did an alternating ground. So this, this is hot, ground, hot, ground, hot. Okay. Five wire, the top wire is uh, 46 and a half inches tall. And uh, here's where we went underneath the road with a hot and a ground. I just cocked that just a second ago. Cock's not even dry. But here's our ground, here's our hot. So we went underneath this road, came out over here on this side, 
and then we tied, I'll go around over here. We tied everything together. So everything's in series now. You got your hot, 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 and they're all tied together. And then the ground, the ground, and then it goes to that corner over there and it's gonna take off this way. So yeah, it's, uh, it's coming along. Uh, kudos to our young men. I mean, they have been cranking. Uh, we tackled a pretty tough one this morning. Or actually, right after lunch. I'll get in the truck so you don't have to listen to the wind. Whew. It is brutal out there. My hands are just about... Whew. It's cold. <laughs> it's supposed to get down to uh, 22 tonight. I think it, it feels like 29 out there right now. It's That wind is just brutal. But, uh, yeah. It's coming along. I talked to my gate man today up on Route F. We've got two 16-footers. I'm sorry, 18-footers to hang. He came up with a plan. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to let him do it. It's not what everybody said. So that's a surprise. You'll see it when it's installed. And I know one thing. This guy does good work, and I trust him. So we're going to go his way. <laughs> He said, Greg, it'll be better, it'll be stronger, and I can get it done a lot faster. So anyway, we're going to go with that. We had a pretty good job today digging in. Um, that's going to be another video. I'm going to show you what the boys came up with. Yeah, on the interest gates up there, they absolutely knocked a home run today. Um, well, I was over with my welder showing him the gates, and I got a call from them, and Isaac and the young fellas had come up with a, a different plan than what I had. And I'm like, oh, that's going to save us so much time. And it's going to save us some money, too. And so they ran. Uh, I'll show you what they did. And they went underneath that fence up there, the gate. It turned out so nice. So nice. Um, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't have designed it any better, okay? So... These young guys, they, they've got it, you know. Everybody says, oh, the next generation, they're not worth, they're not worth their salt. Uh, I beg to differ. I've got three really good ones, and uh, I'd put them up against anybody. Absolutely would. I would. They're that good. But uh, it's exciting. I mean, we're, we're closing in. Uh, we're hoping maybe this is Tuesday. If everything goes according to plan, we may be turning cattle into the new farm Saturday morning. Maybe. We've got a cattle drive on another farm. we got to get that done first, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I wish it would warm up. It is cold. The uh, pear, that's a pear in front of us, pear tree, with all the white blooms on it right there. Um... It's not one of the old style pears. It's got the really good juice. It, it's kind of a newer. They aren't. <laughs> I ate one last year. I was hauling hay out of here. This is the farm that we bought all the hay on that they were going to develop. I think some of y'all may have seen that video, but yeah, it's coming around. Um, you know the. I don't think I've had more comments than i have on these treated posts why are you using them why are you using them why aren't you using timeless why aren't you using timeless well folks right there's one reason that's a 16 foot gate it's hanging and that post is not moving one square inch and it doesn't have any sacrete in it it's driven in the ground with a post pounder four and a half foot deep it's like a darn tree and it's got another one right there beside it. I mean, it's stout. Okay? Um, I love timeless material. I, I love the timeless uh, line post. I do prefer these where I can mount a gate directly to them and be done with it. Okay? And I know there's some brackets you can buy. I, I did see a fellow that put one in uh, West Virginia. But, you know, it, they could get it open and such. But it, it wasn't like that. Okay? Uh, this is going to have a lock on it. 
it's on this road. It's got an easement through you, my neighbor. And, you know, I don't know who's going to be back in here, but I know one thing. They're not driving onto the property and leaving accident, leaving a gate open or anything like that. Because we're going to have a, we're going to have a, you know, a lock on it, a master lock. And um, it's just around here, you know, if people can get in, uh, kids, party and whatever, if they can open a gate and go, they'll go. You know, you're sleeping 12 o'clock midnight, 3 o'clock in the morning, whatever, and they want a place to park. When they leave, if they don't close the gate, well, there's your whole cow herd walking down the blacktop. So, yeah, I've had a little bit of experience with that, and I, I learned right away, like, you know what? That's not going to happen to me again. We're going to put locks on it, and you just sleep a little easier, and it, it keeps people from, you know, driving around leaving gates open because people are kind of on the lazy side if they can uh, just drive they'll go they've got to get out and fight a lock or cut the lock off they probably most people aren't going to do that um there may be some but not very many but uh you know what it's a beautiful day it is cold out here but oh, look at that look at that picture folks I mean, it doesn't get any prettier than that. Yeah, just a beautiful picture. Timeless um, posts on the front, fiberglass on the back. Uh, we did drive these CCA treated, pressure treated posts, and uh, those are in the ground four and a half feet. I will never have to worry with this fence again, ever. Yeah, so. I don't know. I, I I grew up, you know, building fence terrible with you know my dad. And I love him to death, but he was the worst fence builder I was, ever was around. Awful, awful. And <laughs> we were always getting calls. Uh, Mr. Judy, your, your your horses are out, or your cows are out. I was like, I wonder why. Well, there wasn't any fence. It had fallen over. You know, uh, the farm out here. We live five miles from it, and. Every weekend we were out there fixing fence. It was a, it was a just a every weekend deal. It was an every weekend deal fixing fence, and we fixed it. It just barely lasted a week, you know, or maybe two weeks, and you're out there fixing it again. To me, that's just a waste of time. Why not fix it right, and then you can spend the rest of your time doing things you enjoy or, or doing something more constructive than just repairing fence that you repaired the week before. So. That's why I'm a little bit uh, over the top, you might say. There is a reasoning behind it, and uh, I'm, I guess that's my excuse. So, anyway, I like what we see. I don't have to worry about the cattle getting out, and uh, it's time for me to get back and have dinner and enjoy the rest of the evening. Folks, y'all have a good one, and uh, we'll see you down the road.